nearly 50% of people uh, who get their diagnosis of pancreatic cancer um, get that at accident and emergency. Um, that's crazy in cancer terms that they could have uh, a cancer that's got to such a progressed stage that it's caused an, an emergency uh, admittance into hospital. The other thing is that there's just no simple test, no uh, clear, simple diagnostic pathway that someone can go, this looks like uh, pancreatic cancer and we'll give them this test and it will give us a simple readout of yes or no and at what stage. So the Pancreatic Cancer UK Early Diagnosis Research Alliance is made up of four strands. The first strand is around a GP decision-making tool to help GPs understand the vague symptoms in order to um, in refer people who potentially could have pancreatic cancer. Uh, the second strand is around biomarker validation, so understanding the different biomarkers um, and making sure they're really effective in order to basically make a simple test for pancreatic cancer. Um, the third strand is around actually how you implement all this understanding within the UK healthcare system currently. And the fourth one is a real-time clinical trial that brings together the learnings from the other three strands in order to actually test whether this diagnostic pathway of GP tools, a simple test, and the integration within the healthcare system actually works. So what's different about the um, Early Diagnosis Research Alliance is that we're actually encouraging um, researchers to come together to share information and data like they wouldn't ordinarily do. Um, it means that they then don't duplicate effort and they don't waste time when things are being done already that they didn't know someone around the UK is probably doing in a very similar way. Because they're collaborating, they're talking to one another and sharing this information, it means that not only will they stop duplication and waste, but they'll also enhance the different work packages that are within the, um, the Research Alliance itself. If we commit to this fully and consistently for a number of years, it means that we'll, you know, weeks become months and months become blocks of six months, six months becomes a year. And then all of a sudden, those 10,000 people a year who are diagnosed with pancreatic cancer are diagnosed at a stage when they can actually benefit from the treatments we currently have. Even if we didn't do anything more on treatments now and all we did was an early diagnosis, um, they would have that opportunity to have that surgery or to have more effective chemotherapy that's already being done and so many more lives would be saved.